Alright you guys, welcome to Fur and Feather Outdoors, where we do everything outdoors. Um, this video we're going to be doing a three day challenge. Whatever I catch is what I eat. And we're going to see what happens. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. We're going to try it um, right now, which is March. And then I'm going to try it again this summer and see the difference. See what different stuff I catch and whatever. But uh, we're about to get on the scale here. So, I just got done finishing uh, eating. That's my last meal for today. Alright, so I couldn't set an alarm or a uh, timer for three days, but I got a timer set for Thursday at 12.22. So, alrighty guys, so got a bit of a late start today but it's three o'clock um, I recorded that earlier and then I had some stuff to do so we are going to the house now and oh god there's a big bump um, we're going to the house now and gonna get all the fishing gear we need and oh and I caught a bunch of worms yesterday so we're gonna get them and uh, yeah we're gonna try to go to a local pond uh, if you look at my last videos and that and hopefully get a trout I didn't catch anything last time I went there so I don't know but they're supposed to be stocking it with catfish as well in March that's all I know is in March so see what happens um, I wish it was kind of more of a wild pond in, or somewhere I had to go, but it's rained a lot in the past couple days, so everything is just up, so I don't have much of a choice, so we're going to do what we can. I only have about three or four hours until it gets dark. So I'm going to try to do with what we got, and I don't want to go hungry tonight, so. Good thing is tomorrow I'll have more time. I won't be able to eat anything tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. So i see you when we get to the house. Alright. Got my pack. Got this in case there's some catfish and my jacket so I can stay out there. Because I want to be out there as long as I can. See you at the pond. Hey guys, um, there's, I was planning on fishing off the dock today, but there's other people there, so we're gonna go to this other spot. I got two rods. One of them I have set up for catfish, and then the other one for trout. This uh, dough bait for catfish, and it absolutely stinks. I have it double bagged, and it stunk it. We got both poles set. Um, while I was setting up the catfish pole, something did take the worm off the trout pole. So hopefully we can get something on it before the day's over with. So, get back to it. Alright guys, so I think these people are leaving. So, I haven't had any luck here. I may try bottom fishing or try fishing with a uh, spinner. But, I haven't had anything about it besides whenever I pulled it back in the first time and there wasn't no worm. So, I think we're going to go to the Dock. Alrighty guys, so uh, we got over here to the dock as quick as I could and uh, we're gonna toss out a line. There were some guys the other day catching them over here, so hopefully it works. Otherwise, we're gonna be over here. Thank you. 
All right, guys. So something ate the worm for sure. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on this one a little more now. I got the catfish pull out there, so I'm gonna put another worm on. See what happens. All right, guys. Just got our first fish. He's not very big, but uh, better than nothing. Let's still eat. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this. Hopefully we can get some more. So I thought I just lost my fish and my stringer. I went to tie it to an old screw and I just wrapped it around and it literally just came straight off as soon as I did it. So. But I got it back, so it's all good. Alrighty guys, so uh, we're back at the house and I ended up catching two more trout after what you guys saw. Uh, it was about like an hour and a half after the, and the wind was just so cold out there, it just killed my batteries instantly. And I forgot to bring a battery pack, which is what I'm using right now. So, I only got a little bit of video, but um, one was like teeny weeny. So, I just threw it back. So, we got two tonight. And something I'm doing, so I raised six chickens. So, I'm going to limit myself to, like tonight I'm going to batter them, so I grabbed three. But normally, if I'm just going to eat them, I'm going to limit myself to one egg. One or two eggs. So. Alright, that was my trout for the night. Put some of the seasoning on it. I never tried it, so. See how it is. And yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so uh, went outside and took the pellet gun and went to check and see if there was any rabbits or anything. Didn't see any of that. Um, so me and my dad are going out to my papaws and there's normally a bunch of rabbits out there. So I am going to try to get a hold of one um, if I can. So, hopefully there is one. If not, we might just be eating fish tonight again. I just got back home. Been helping Dad do some stuff. Um, I haven't had breakfast yet, so... It's already... 10 o'clock, or 11 o'clock. So... I'm gonna cook some eggs. I didn't eat any of my eggs last night. I've been... So... I'm limiting myself to one egg. That way I'm not cheating, I guess. So. Didn't eat one last night, so you want to die, so it's two. So. Here's my eggs. Gonna add a little salt and pepper to them. 
and maybe a little garlic powder. And uh, then I think I'm gonna head off to uh, the pond and uh, may try to find some stuff around it like foraging, but definitely gonna try to catch some fish, so see you then. Today, I'm going to bring my little spinning grill. Yesterday, I only brought my big one <coughs> and uh, wasn't that successful. So, can I have the bobber and the spinner out? So, hopefully, that works better for us. I'll have a little bit more luck. So, we'll see you at the pond. Alrighty guys, so uh, we're walking down to the pond right now. There's quite a few people down here. They might have restocked the trout. I don't think they stocked it with the catfish yet. We'll have to see. But... Alright guys, so I actually forgot my uh, other battery in the truck, so may have to start recording off, off my phone if the big camera dies, but uh, we got our worm here, and then we got our spinner too, so. But there's quite a few people out here, so we'll see what happens. Alrighty guys, so uh, I'll be honest, today sucked fishing, but I, I, it's kind of breaking the rules a little bit, I feel like. But um, there was an older man that was fishing down there. And uh, yesterday we we did good, but um, today they were just I don't know they didn't not I, they would bite my lure, but then they wouldn't they wouldn't do nothing with it. They either steal my worm or whatever. They didn't seem as aggressive today, so um, I, I was out there for probably two hours. I didn't video much because I was I'm hungry and. Uh, <clears throat> I was starting to get a little aggravated with it just because they did not want to bite anything. And if they did, they just hit it and they wouldn't, they weren't, they weren't wanting to get it fully. But <clears throat> there was an older man down there and uh, he caught his limit and then left and then came back and uh, wanted to help me. So he uh, actually ended up catching my fish for me. But that's all I'm eating. So. As far as sticking with the whatever I catch, I guess it's not right, but I'm hungry and I'm going to eat it and it's still not that big of a meal, but uh, I'm going to do it. So just wanted to put that out there that uh, I did not catch these fish, but I'm going to eat them.